this video I'm going to give you an overview of the Pool Life NST Extended Release Non-Stabilized Tablets. These are Cal Hypo tablets that are specially formulated to be very slow dissolving. And there are a few things to note about the NST Cal Hypo tablets. These tablets have a proprietary ingredient that makes them slow dissolving. So unlike other Cal Hypo tablets which will dissolve in one day, these dissolve over seven days. And the first thing you'll notice about the NST Cal Hypo tablet is that they're octagon shape. This will distinguish them from the trichlor tablet. Another notable fact about the NST tablet is that there's no cyanuric acid in them. Unlike a trichlor tablet like this one here, which is about half cyanuric acid, there's no cyanuric acid at all in the NST tablet. And so if you have a pool and you're running trichlor tablets in the pool and you notice that the cyanuric acid level is really high and you want to move away from the trichlor tablets, the non-stabilized Calhypo tablets are a great choice. And if you have a trichlor feeder like this here, you can't use the NST tablets in here, nor any Calhypo tablets in a trichlor tablet feeder. And not only are these trichlor feeders not designed for Calhypo, if there's any trichlor residue left inside here, and you put Calhypo in here, it could cause an explosion. And you also wouldn't be able to use the NST Calhypo tablet in a trichlor floater. There's just not enough flow here to dissolve the tablet. And these NST Calhypo tablets have about 70% Calhypo in them. And if you're going to use the NST Calhypo tablets in the Pool Life tablet feeder, you want to make sure you purchase the square bucket. They sell the square bucket in various sizes. This one here is 15 pounds or 14.9 pounds. And the NST tablets that are sold in the round bucket are specifically made for the skimmer. And the tablets sold in the square bucket have one added ingredient. They have a citric acid sequestering agent to minimize clogging. And again, the main benefit of switching from the trichlor tablet to the Calhypo tablet is that they don't contain any cyanuric acid like this trichlor tablet here. And so the question is how many Calhypo tablets would it take to keep your pool at a three parts per million chlorine level all week long? The manufacturer recommends starting with one tablet per 10,000 gallons. After that point, you wanna go with one tablet per every 5,000 gallons. So if you have a 10,000 gallon pool, you would start with one tablet and then you would go ahead and put two tablets in going forward. And these tablets should take about a week to dissolve in a tablet feeder. You can also use the square bucket tablets directly in the skimmer if you wanted to. And unlike a trichlor tablet that has a pH about 4, the NST Calhypo tablet has a pH about 9. So it's not going to damage your pool equipment if you introduce it in the skimmer. You can just set it in the skimmer like this. And note the NST tablet is specially formulated to dissolve in the pool only when the pool is running. This gives it the long lasting ability and this is the reason why it lasts for a week. Here's the tablet after it's been in the pool for a week. You can see that it still has the octagon shape, but it is definitely dissolving. So you can see after a week, the tablet is still not fully dissolved. Let's take a quick look at the Pool Life Calhypo feeder. And this feeder is designed to be plumbed offline using one inch plumbing. All the parts needed to connect it to your pool are included. So you have this union here that you're gonna put on this end here. You'll see the flow arrow and the union goes on this end. And then you have this threaded coupling with this o-ring here and you'll put the threaded coupling into the flow control valve and then you have the drain valve and here's the NST feeder fully assembled and unlike a trichlor tablet feeder that's plumbed after the filter the Pool Life NST tablet feeder is designed to be plumbed before the filter so now all you need to do is add one inch PVC pipe to plumb it into your equipment. And here are two examples of the feeder installed at two different service accounts. You can see that the feeder is installed before the filter. If you have any questions about installing the feeder at your service account, in the description of the video I have my contact at Segura and you can call or email him and he'll be glad to help you with any kind of installation questions you may have. And this lid is very easy to open. You just push up on this tab here and then turn it. And here's a look inside the feeder. You can see that it looks different than a trichlor feeder. This is where the water comes in. This is what allows the tablet to be slow dissolving as the water is flowing through the feeder. And you would simply take the tablet and drop it in. And then the tablet would slowly dissolve over the course of a week. Then you would simply put the lid back on and tighten it in place. And so that's a quick look at the Pool Life NST non-stabilized Calhypo tablets and the Pool Life NST tablet feeder that's designed to go with these tablets. 
Leslie's Pool Supplies has been do-it-yourselfers and pool trade professionals' trusted partner since 1963, providing quality products and services to make pool care easy and solutions and expertise to do it right.